Ian Gary versus Joaquin Buckley is happening. Now, who's going to win this fight? Well, if we about who's going to win this fight, let's take a look at their latest performances in which Ian Gary fought Jeff Neal, in which it was a very boring fight. Ian Gary was just running for his life, but he still managed to outland Jeff Neal, and Ian Gary ended up taking it by decision. And still undefeated, the future! And after this, Ian Gary went on to fight Michael Venom Page, in which it was another boring fight. I mean, this guy makes Bilal Muhammad look entertaining. Ian Gary took control of the whole entire fight with his grappling and ground game and obviously Ian Gary ended up taking it by decision and still undefeated the future now let's take a look at Joaquin Buckley's latest performances in which he fought under Sultan Rosie Boyev in which both went back and forth both landed some great shots and kicks until Joaquin Buckley dropped under Sultan Rosie Boyev twice in round three and obviously Joaquin Buckley ended up taking it by decision and after this, Joaquin Buckley went out to fight Steven Thompson, in which Joaquin Buckley started out very fast. His wrestling and grappling was great, and Joaquin Buckley knocked out Steven Thompson in round three. Arms. That was a big shot. Oh! oh! And based off their latest performances, I got Joaquin Buckley winning this fight. Now, I'm sure that this fight is not a fight that nobody expected, but it's definitely an interesting one because you could say that this is a 50-50 fight since both men are very young. They're in their prime. They have been very active and are on a good run because if you take a look at Ian Gary, well, he's 26 years old and he stands with an undefeated record of 15 wins with seven of those wins coming by knockout and one of those wins coming by submission. And like I said, he's been very active, having fought twice this year and three times last year. And if you look at Joaquin Buckley, well, he's 30 years old and it's the more experienced fighter with 20 wins with 14 knockouts and six losses which four of those losses did come by knockout and like i said he's also been very active having fought three times this year and two times last year so ian gary has a lot to lose because so far he's managed to stay undefeated even though he's fought some hard opponents like mvp and jeff neal proving that he knows how to win a fight regardless of what style is in front of him and regardless of what type of fighter is in front of him so now how's this fight gonna go and who's gonna win this fight well i believe that ian gary being a taller and longer fighter is gonna have more success by fighting at a range that he's comfortable with touching up joaquin buckley so that way he can make joaquin buckley hesitant to come inside and land some big shots because that's the only way that Hakeem Buckley is going to win this fight by blitzing forward and letting those hands go but if Ian Gary is able to keep his range then Hakeem Buckley is going to struggle to get anything going so I believe that whenever Hakeem Buckley isn't coming forward and landing some big shots I see Ian Gary controlling the pace of the fight by outlanding and outperforming Hakeem Buckley so I got Ian Gary beating Hakeem Buckley proving that his next fight should have been against somebody in the top five